Sarah, what do you think about that? Hey, Sarah, I think you're muted. Hey, Sarah, we can't hear you. Hello? Sarah, you have to unmute yourself. Most Christians tell pollsters they believe that dreamers, young immigrants brought to the United States when they were children, should have the chance to apply for U.S. citizenship. But that's not always the message that congressional offices hear. They often receive significantly more telephone calls from those against citizenship for dreamers than from those who are supportive. Our voices have been muted. As a result, though bills to allow dreamers to earn citizenship have been introduced time after time, they've never made it into law. Christians have a biblical mandate to unmute ourselves. Proverbs 3.27 says, Do not withhold good from those to whom it is due when it is in your power to act. It's in your power to act, to speak up, but first you need to unmute yourself. Sarah, take yourself off mute. Sorry about that. I'm unmuted now. Act now. Go to www.evangelicalimmigrationtable.com slash unmute. Indicate your state and we'll instantly connect you to your senator's offices. It's time to unmute yourself.